This, my friends, is exactly how stupid Firefox has become. As you can see, it's not open. There's the uh, icon right there. Next to the Chrome icon. But look at this. The process is still there, and it is chewing up memory. Doing nothing. And before you ask, I have tried terminating the process. Which doesn't seem to do anything. I have tried... Oops. Killing the process tree. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Looks like it stopped climbing, I guess. But it's still there, and I don't have a Firefox window. And I have tried power using PowerShell to kill the process. Which does nothing. Look at that. So, here's my little message to Mozilla. Get your heads out of your asses and make a program that works! Unlike this crap, which doesn't work. Anybody that says that this works is wrong. And I'm also going to say right now, anybody that says that Chrome is better than Firefox is also wrong, because Chrome sucks too. Has the same problem. More stupidity. Why in this day and age can we only open up one program? We've got multi-core processors, multiple gigabytes of memory. Why is something like this still existing? Whoever's brilliant idea it was to keep this archaic BS in this program should be fired and kicked to the curb now. Because it's stupid. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, I opened it again, as you can see, but after about 10 minutes of waiting, after killing the process in PowerShell, oh, how many times is that? I don't know. I don't even feel like counting it. It's finally closed. Why does it take that long to close a program that crashes? Why is a program that crashes even still open? I don't know, but apparently, in Mozilla's eyes, such a program is functional. It should still be up even if it crashes, because it's got to save all of that RAM, all three freaking gigabytes of it, even though when this, the thing was running, it was only taking about 1.5. Piece of shit. Seriously. It never ceases to amaze me the number of idiots in the free and open source software community who think they have a clue about how to write a program when in fact they don't. S stuff like this sh just shouldn't be a problem. And it wasn't a problem back when Firefox first came out. Or even up to version 3.6. But now it is. Up at version 30 point something. I don't even friggin' know. The stupid rapid release thing was also a very bad idea that they should not have done. It was done to copy Chrome. I don't know why everybody's copying Chrome, because Chrome is the worst browser on the planet. Yes, it's even worse than Internet Explorer. Yes, I just said something positive about Internet Explorer. Wow. You know your program is bad when you can say something good about Internet Explorer when you're comparing it to your program. Both Firefox and IE don't open up 20 processes per tab, but IE doesn't have the serious memory leaks that Firefox or Chrome have. And at least when Firefox, uh, when in Internet Explorer screws up, which it does on a regular basis, you can destroy the process. Easily. I have never had an issue with that. With Firefox, it sits there for 10 plus minutes, wasting 3.5 gigs of your RAM, doing nothing. But yet IE, you can close immediately. How does this make any sense? IE is stuck in a 2001 level of competence, and yet it manages to get that right. But neither of these two modern, modern browsers can manage to do that. Doesn't make any sense to me. I hate bashing free and open source software. I would love to see a day when I could sit in front of a Linux box or run Linux on my main computer and do everything that I, everything that I want with free software, don't need any of this paid proprietary Windows, Sony Vegas, you know, or a Macintosh or whatever. Don't need any of that. You could just use Linux on an ordinary PC and have it work. But right now, we are far away from that because even web browsers cannot manage to get simple things right. 
It just does not make any sense. It's mind-boggling. Oh, yeah, and here's another thing. Microsoft, why can't you make these PowerShell commands actually display some output if it can't close the program? Like, really? I've no, I don't understand that. I mean, uh, maybe it's just Firefox, again, just sitting there gazing at the flowers, doing nothing while receiving these terminate commands, because this is stuff that's been around for a very, 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 very long time. I mean, Firefox is based on Mozilla code, which is based on Netscape code, and Netscape has been around, oh, early 90s? Probably even late 80s. Maybe even earlier than that, I'm not sure. But they've been around for a while. And this crap has been around for a while. Probably early 90s. So, yeah. Has to tell you how far we've progressed, really. 